How Sally Learns with Reinforcement Learning This is the second of two videos on the learning algorithms Sally now has integrated within the Universal Knowledge Store. If you haven't watched the previous learning video, I encourage you to do so first to help you get the most out of this video. Here are the topics for this video and the previous. First, I presented information on the background and design philosophy. Next, two learning algorithms, associated learning in the previous video and reinforcement learning for this video. And I'll wrap up with Sally's resulting overall abilities. The next learning algorithm I've implemented is a form of reinforcement learning. How this works in a nutshell, for a given set of inputs, the current state, Sally takes an action, and she may subsequently receive a positive or negative outcome. By remembering combinations of state, action, and outcome, she can then repeat actions which led to rewards and avoid ones which don't. To store the needed information, I added a new group of things to the knowledge store, which I call a situation thing. Situations have reference links to the current sensory inputs, an action, and an outcome. Sally accumulates many situation things. After that, the current state can be compared against all situation things and the best match is selected. Then she performs the action referenced by that situation if it was a positive, or try a different action if it was a negative. Reinforcement learning is immensely powerful, and I've only scratched the surface in my present implementation. Let's look at what each area is to show some of the potential. This type of learning can only take place over time. The positive or negative feedback is only useful if it occurs after an action and the choice of action is only meaningful if it is selected after the observed current state. The current state is the complete state of the entity. Of course, this includes the current sensory inputs, but it also should include memories, any actions currently in progress, sequences or events like phrases or objects in motion, and innumerable other things. The action could represent some primitive action, such as a single muscle contraction, or in Sally's case, there are a number of primitive actions, like the ability to say a single word. But these can be expanded to create sequences of primitives, so a person could learn to walk or play a piano, or Sally can speak a phrase. Actions can be given parameters such as speed so you can move slowly or quickly or speak slower or faster, for example. A powerful parameter would be to do something until some result is achieved. For example, Sally could turn until she sees a red object. As primitive actions can incorporate every simple thing an entity can do, complex actions could represent every imaginal behavior. Outcomes can represent any qualitative feedback received from the environment. I have implemented a single bit of positive or negative input, a reward or punishment, but feedback is typically more gray than just black and white and consists of multiple types of inputs. As such, outcomes form the bases for goals in an AI system and emotions in biology. I should emphasize that a change in the level of outcome is more important than any absolute measure. Entities choose actions which make things better, and remaining in a constant state of reward doesn't contribute to learning. For reinforcement learning, the sequence of events starts when Sally receives an outcome. She can then allocate a new situation thing and then add links to the most recent current state things and a link to the most recent action. The weight of the action reference is set to match the outcome which fired. 
If a relevant situation already exists, Sally will simply add an additional weighted action. In development of the software for the situation thing, I quickly found that I needed a new display type which would show the operation of the knowledge store over time. This display shows which things are firing for each cycle or time period in a single line of text. It doesn't show lines if there was no change in the knowledge store state. To show how this display works, as Sally rotates you can see the firing sequence of color things she sees at any given time. For this implementation, here are the values for current state, action, and outcome which I've created. The objective at this point is for Sally to learn what each phrase means by creating links associating the phrase and the action. To illustrate the situation thing, I've enabled the world simulator only to insert the phrases turn right and turn left. Sally defaults to taking a null action, a thing called no action. Any action is an output from the knowledge store and it is indicated by the right arrows to differentiate it from inputs. When training is enabled, the world simulator analyzes each action and responds with an appropriate positive or negative outcome. Sally initially takes no action and receives a negative outcome because doing nothing in response to the turn right phrase is incorrect. She builds a situation thing to record the input state, the action she tried, and the outcome. Sally tries out different actions as she receives feedback from the simulator. After a number of tries, Sally has learned which phrase should be associated with which action and you can see the situation things and the links to the various actions Sally has tried and the outcome she received in the upper display. This is obviously a very simple reinforcement learning demonstration, but it has great possibilities. As this type of development progresses, I'll add the ability to handle more complex state information, more complex actions, and more complex outcomes. Sally can already imagine the result of a behavior without actually performing it, and coupling this with reinforcement learning should give her the ability to plan. I'm really excited to see the results of the next development iterations. To sum up, here's a brief video showing Sally's behavior after training, a combination of the associated learning from the previous video and reinforcement learning as described in this one. Sally, what is this? Blue. Sally, what is this? Red. Sally, turn left. Sally, stop. Sally, what is this? Black. Sally, turn right. Sally, turn right. Sally, go. Sally, stop. Sally, go. Sally, stop. Sally, turn right. Sally, stop. Sally, what is this? Green. In summary, these recent four videos introduce Sally's Universal Knowledge Store. It can handle an unlimited structure of things connected by links and is presently organized to handle Sally's senses, actions, situations, and outcomes. I have implemented two learning algorithms which are internal to the knowledge store, the first of which associates words with properties and is akin to biological heavy in learning. The second, reinforcement learning, lets Sally associate actions with commands. Both algorithms are simple and biologically plausible, but are limited by Sally's limited senses and abilities. I look forward to expanding these algorithms and implementing many more simple algorithms in the coming months. 
I hope you'll subscribe to be notified when the next videos become available and go to http brainsim.org to try out the software for yourself. If you found interesting information in this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching. For more on this timely topic, read my new book, Will Computers Revolt? Preparing for the Future of Artificial Intelligence. Available now at Amazon and book retailers worldwide in paperback, hardcover, and ebook editions.